There are several new developments in the coronavirus pandemic on both the national and local levels. Start with Governor Whitmer saying today Michigan could move into its next reopening phase but uh, by July 4th, but not this week. Uh, that comes as the state is reporting 221 new cases of COVID-19 and another 11 people dying from the virus in Michigan. Today, health experts, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, testified before Congress. Dr. Fauci made it clear he has not been asked to slow testing and that testing will increase. He also said the first vaccine for COVID-19 could be ready by the end of the year. State Republican legislators are putting forth a proposal to allocate a billion dollars to help schools with their budgets as many districts face the possibility of layoffs. They and Governor Whitmer say they are waiting to learn how much federal funding is going to be available to help with that before they hammer out a final number. Bars and restaurants were allowed to reopen on June 8th with the restriction that they use no more than 50% of their capacity. Well, now two weeks later, the Ingham County Health Department has issued a notice to, about an outbreak related to an East Lansing bar. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us with what you need to know, Doc. Yeah, Kim, well, you know, as society and businesses re-engage in public activity, the ideal is that with precautions, there wouldn't be any additional spread. But frankly, as a realist, I would anticipate a degree of increased transmission. And that is where public health comes in, identifying hotspots and getting the word out so those flare-ups can get corrected. The Ingham County Health Department says at least 18 people who recently visited Harper's Restaurant and Brew Pub between June 12th and 20th have tested positive for COVID-19. They're advising people who are at the East Lansing establishment in that time frame to watch for symptoms in the 14 days following and get tested, even if you don't have symptoms. The health department found Harper's was following safety procedures